Today I will give you guys a setup guide on how to set up the Auto Moon Sticks scalp script that I recently made a video on. Now obviously with my recent video and a lot of the claims that it made on how good this script is, there have been quite a few skeptics. However, I definitely recommend you guys try it out for yourself before, you know, saying that anything I say in that video is a lie or anything like that. I definitely recommend trying it. And I also do want to say that there are currently people testing it already, so you can also wait to hear their personal opinion, people who have personally paid for the script, before you purchase it yourself. However, let's get right into this video. My goal in this video is to show you guys how easy it is to set up. And if you have already purchased the script, hopefully this will help you, um, you know, be able to find settings faster than reading over the guide. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So the first most important thing when it comes to setting up a script is obviously deciding what pair to trade on. Now right here I have Bitcoin to USD, however you are most likely going to want to trade maybe altcoins on Binance uh, or you know anything else. So basically there's a few criteria you want to look at for choosing a coin pair and the script actually helps you a lot with this because it will automatically filter out any coins that you shouldn't really be trading on it. Now, let me show you one example of that. For example, if you go to Wax to Bitcoin on, for example, um, Bitfinex right here, then you will see that because it is such low volume on Wax to Bitcoin on Bitfinex, since there's literally no one trading it and the candles are completely horrible here, even on a seven hour time frame, the script won't even put any signals on the chart because there's no profitable way for the script to trade it. So that's just one example. You might notice this on other coins too. Uh, whenever you try to whenever you try to use the script on it, it will just not show signals in general. And that basically just means that the script sees that there's not enough volume on that coin for the script to trade on it. Uh, so it just decides not to plot any signals and then you have to find a better coin to trade. So for example, a better coin might be you know, ADA to USD Tether or something like that, something that's a lot higher volume than just, you know, some smaller altcoin that doesn't get traded that much. So that's a really, really important thing. You want to look for something with high volume. Uh, and a lot of the USD Tether or USD coins on most exchanges do have that. Um, so that's the main coins that you should be looking for. Now, once you find the coin that you like, obviously you should get the strategy on the chart so you can backtest it. And then you want to go to your settings and you want to make sure the thing value is set to 10. Now, why do I set it to 10? 10 is basically the lowest setting that you can set it to. And I just find it to be a good baseline for finding settings, you know, down the line. Generally, if you get good net profit on 10, then you can just increase the thing value a little bit more and get even more profit. So pretty much I use thing 10 as a way of identifying the best time frame, and then I increase the setting later. So let me quickly show you how I do that. So once you have it set to 10, then you can go up here to the time frame. I tend to start at one hour and then move up as that just tends to be the lowest time frame that something works on. So obviously on one hour here on Cardano, you can see it clearly is not profitable. So I just go through all the time frames until I find something that is generally profitable. So as you can see here on four hour, I would have gotten 28% profit. I'm just going to keep going to make sure that is really the highest percentage profit. And you can already see here that the other time frames aren't really looking that profitable with that setting. Uh, there is 22% there, but the four hour is still more profitable. And there is 14% there. And then once I hit the nine hour, I tend to stop. And as we did see, the four hour was the most profitable on the 10 setting. Now, once I find the most profitable time frame on that setting, then what I do is I just go through this thing setting and I just increase it until it has the highest prop the highest profits possible. So right now it's at 34% profit and I'm just going to keep increasing it until I find something I like. And you might be thinking, well, this is going to take forever. However, I tend to go up to around 30 or 40 because then uh, it just tends to go down in profit. Um, so right now it is at 34%. You can just keep increasing it until you find your desired setting. Um, so as you can see, it is getting a little bit higher. It seems that 22 
is uh, 38% profit. So then I'm just going to keep cycling it up here until I find something I really like. And obviously the other thing is, you know, you can just look at the highest net profit. You know, that can be your sole identifying factor for the best settings. However, the other thing is you do want to take a look a little bit at the trades because that can affect your future trades. Um, so I wouldn't totally rely on the net profit, although it normally tends to be the best indicator. Um, and certainly for this, it seems like we have maxed out at around 38.6% profit. So once I've gone up to around 50, obviously I didn't go to 50, but once you go up to around 50 and you find the most profitable settings, then that is what I tend to use with this script. So as you can see, I just, you know, I just tuned the script to fairly solid settings in under five minutes, which is extremely impressive. And hopefully you guys can see how easy it is to really set up. And hopefully if you are setting this up for yourself, then hopefully this has cleared up some of the questions you may have had. Now, in terms of other settings, in terms of properties and everything like that, there isn't too much you need to change here. Um, I would just have, you know, pyramiding off, uh, slippage to one, and then commission to whatever your exchange is using. For this example, I just put 0.1% uh, commission, although obviously if you are on Binance and you are using the BNB token, then it is 0.075. And then you can see that it actually did increase our profit here. Um, so just set it to whatever the commission is on your exchange. And then once you have everything ready on the back test, once everything looks good, you just look at your thing value of 26. You get the alert script, which is also provided to you. And then you just want to input the same value uh, into the alert script in order to get the same signals. And then you can uh, quickly hide the strategy script as you won't need that anymore. Um, and then pretty much all you need to do is click on it Make sure you click on the indicator, not the chart. And then you want to match up these two values. For, so for example, if you are doing buy, then you want to make sure that both are on buy. And then I tend to find that once per minute or once per bar works the best. And then you, know, you just set up open-ended, send email, and then you just enter in whatever syntax you need. So whether it's for auto view, gun bot, uh, you just enter in whatever message here and then it will send to your email or it will alert you if you're manually trading when to buy or sell on that coin pair. And obviously for sell, it's the exact same thing. Just make sure the two values match up to sell and then you can create the alert and you have successfully set up the script on whatever pair you choose to set it up on. You need to keep the trading view page open while you are running the script in order to get the correct alerts. And I have had 100% accuracy on my script running on my personal account uh, whenever I was doing this. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section down below, or you can feel free to message me on Telegram or go on the automoon.io support if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and see you guys in the next one. Thank you.